This is a construction update for the week of August 26th, provided by the City of Somerville and read to you by Somerville Media Center. Improvement projects. Beacon Street reconstruction. MassDOT contractors plan to pave Beacon Street from Washington Street to Park Street, including the Washington Street intersection, Sunday, August 25th, from approximately 5 p.m. to midnight. That section of Beacon Street will be closed during work hours with on-street parking restrictions. MBTA bus stops within or near the work zones on routes 83 and 86 may not be serviced during the road closure. Please see the MBTA website for advisories. Sidewalks are expected to remain open. Within the next two weeks, contractors plan to install conduit across Scott Street and Park Street. When that work is conducted, Crews will need to close Scott Street or Park Street at the Beacon Street intersection during midday hours from approximately 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. Beacon Street itself will remain open. Over the next several weeks, contractors also plan to continue constructing the northbound raised cycle track on Beacon Street between Kent Street and Oxford Street, installing granite edging and paving the track incrementally. Cyclists are advised to continue using the bike detour during construction. Green Line Extension. Overnight work is planned at the Washington Street Bridge this weekend between Friday evening, August 23rd, and the early morning of Monday, August 26th. Crews plan to place steel girders to advance construction on the new bridge deck. Noise from heavy construction is expected and work lights will be used on site. Overnight weekend work is expected near Granville Ave in Medford near Ball Square. GLX crews will work around the clock this weekend to advance foundation and utility work inside the MBTA right-of-way. Frequent nighttime and weekend work at this location is expected in the coming months. Near Innerbelt Road, workers completed welding together 6 miles of 60-foot long sections of light rail, 1,700 tons total, that will be placed along the alignment next spring. Behind homes on Richdale Ave, crews are drilling and placing concrete micropiles that will support a noise wall. For more detailed information about upcoming and ongoing work, take a look at the latest construction update from MassDOT. If you need assistance for a GLX construction-related matter, please call the 24-7 GLX hotline at 1-855-GLX-INFO or email info at glxinfo.com. Sacramento Street Underpass Rehabilitation. During the week of August 26th, Crews plan to continue raising concrete for new stairs and ramps. This work is expected to continue through early September. Once the concrete cures, field measurements will be taken for new railings. The underpass will remain closed until later this fall. Somerville Ave Utility and Streetscape Improvements. Installation of the next section of box culvert drainage infrastructure is expected to begin on the north side of Somerville Ave between Miriam Street and Prospect Street. Between Prospect Street and Stone Ave, crews continue utility work, backfilling and working toward restoring that stretch of the roadway. For maps and more detailed information about current detours, please see the Detours tab of the project website or the MBTA website for service advisories. Somerville High School Building Project. If weather permits, contractors plan to place concrete floor slabs for the third level of the Western Wing Monday, August 26th. Trucks will arrive starting at 3 a.m. The work itself is not expected to be loud, and crews will do everything possible to minimize truck noise. At the Eastern Wing, crews continue removing debris from recent building demo and begin preliminary work on foundations. Washington Street Water Main Upgrades During the week of August 26, crews plan to clean and line the water main with cement on Washington Street between Line Street and Hawkins Street, requiring parking restrictions and lane shifts. Throughout this project, some residents will experience interruptions to their water service during construction. Sign up for the city's alert system to make sure you're notified in advance. Pavement and Sidewalk Management Program, Powder House Boulevard. On Friday, August 23rd, a four-way stop was installed at the Curtis Street intersection as a test. The city is studying the safety benefits of converting the traffic light at that location into a four-way stop. Thermoplastic markings, including crosswalks and stop bars, have been installed along the length of the boulevard. Temporary striping of the bike lane and lane lines is expected in the near future. Those markings will be installed in accordance with the temporary striping plan established by the city while the community process to determine permanent striping continues. Sidewalk reconstruction. 
Sidewalker construction is occurring at Medford Street from Partridge Ave to School Street. Additional utility work. Utility companies are responsible for notifying residents prior to conducting any work, but we expect parking restrictions and lane shifts due to the following utility work. Detail officers may close a road if deemed necessary for safety. West Branch Library Renovation. College Ave. Park Ave to Chapel Street. Utility installation planned through September. Two-way traffic is expected to be maintained. Eversource Gas will be working at Cherry Street, Chester Ave, Dearborn Road, Laurel Terrace, Murdoch Street, and Prescott Street. And National Grid will be working at Washington Street from Crescent Street to Franklin Street. This has been a construction update provided by the City of Somerville and read by Somerville Media Center. For more information and for the latest updates, you should visit the City Construction website at somervillema.gov.